Oh, oi, oi, everyone. It is Craig and also here with Rhino, and we're yeah. back with another Disney dining review. Before we get started, we want to remind you this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content and you want to support us, book a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get a free no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. What are we having today? Well, this is one of the food items at Disneyland that I have been waiting to try more than anything else because I've never had it before, and that is the breakfast chimichangas that you can get at Ship to Shore right across from the entrance of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and beside the entrance to uh, the Mark Twain. And I love a good chimichanga. A Disneyland chimichanga, you can't beat it. Make a breakfast version, this could be potentially next level. And in terms of a breakfast sandwich, it's only $6.49. So that's great pricing for what is essentially a hefty deep fried breakfast burrito. And inside I see potato, I see eggs, I see what appears to be sausage. I'm sure there's cheese as well too. And then I added on the option of salsa verde, which was another additional dollar. I don't know if it's gonna be good. It might end up being bad and it was a terrible mistake, but you know what? He sold me on it. Sold me on that salsa, but I'm not gonna waste any more time. And I'm gonna be fully transparent too. These sell out. So I, I wasn't sure if it was gonna sell out today. It is a weekend, so maybe a little busier, but they only serve them until 11. And then if they do sell out, they're just done. And so I got them very early and uh, then Rhino got into the park later. And uh, unfortunately, I think these might have lost the crispiness of the outside if they ever had it at all. So if they still have some left, we might call an audible. And after we're finished with this part of the review, we might go get a fresh one just to see. I might do that. But first bite. This thing is greasy. This thing is oily. But my God, it might be the best breakfast item I've ever had at Disneyland. And I'm not joking. It is, it's, I don't wanna say like, it's something entirely different that you couldn't get anywhere else. You probably can find this somewhere else, but this is like a hangover cure sandwich burrito type thing. It's just so salty. Every flavor stands out from the eggs to the potatoes, cheese and, and the sausage in there. It's just, you taste everything. I don't think it needs salsa. I don't think it needs hot sauce. I just think I need more in my belly, but I feel like I've been talking nonstop and eating mine while Rhino's just sitting there with his mouth watering, waiting for this experience. It is the breakfast chimichanga. So let's hear what Rhino has to say. Craig is not kidding. It is very, very greasy, uh, which sometimes can be fine. Let's hope it doesn't hurt my belly for the rest of the day. Okay. I thought maybe you were like overselling it because sometimes you can be kind of like a disgusting human being. <laughs> but I mean that in a very nice way, in a loving way. But you weren't kidding. This thing is so good. These potatoes that are in here are just like cooked, just like nice and soft with the egg and the sausage. Oh my goodness gracious. And the, the, uh, the, the tortilla that's wrapped in or the the, I don't know. I was gonna say bun, but I feel like that's no, not the right it's word. It's a tortilla, yeah. I think it just got soggy. It's actually like super good. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't mind that it's soggy because it makes it all like, I, I don't know, it's got a good, for me right now, it's got a great texture. I can see where if it is super crispy, that would also be good, but I'm, I'm liking it now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna dip it into the green uh, salsa verde that Craig said came recommended, but was the extra amount for it. Okay. That's a good salsa. That's a spicy salsa. Very hot. I just couldn't even add a little bit here real quick. I mean, you might have found it. You might have found the definitive breakfast item to get when you come on a Disneyland vacation. I'll let you eat more of yours because I know you're holding the camera, but. <laughs> I don't know why I did that so creepy like an alien, but I want to eat this whole thing. Update for you, they ran out of breakfast chimichangas, so I was not able to find out what exactly the texture is of the tortilla for a fresh one, but it's probably for the better because Rhino just filled me in on some very important information. 
My tummy hurts. His tummy hurts. That's just because it's breakfast and it's and I, I that always happens at breakfast. Yeah, I'm fine. And it was a massive breakfast. And then we also didn't notice there was also bacon in there too. Yeah. Like this thing was overly indulgent. I tried it out with the um, the pico. Was that the sauce I was using? I can't remember which. You were one just I using a hot sauce. You weren't using the pico. The picante. Sauce. I was using picante. I, I was getting it mixed up with the other sauce. Don't do that. Use the green salsa. The green salsa yeah. was like real good and spicy and I loved it. Yeah, pay the extra dollar for it. I tried it, of course, right after Rhino did and it was out of this world. That yeah. pairing together between the breakfast chimichanga and the salsa verde, I, I cannot wait to have it again. So much to the point that Rhino is probably going to run in on our final day here and pick up two fresh ones. Well, at least one fresh one for me, maybe two. So that way we can Both have it again. Both for <laughs> yeah, me, yeah, yeah. because I really want it. And you know what? If that does happen, then right now at this moment, you're going to find out what it was like. Flash forward to our final day here at Disneyland. Rhino ran into Disneyland Park to pick me up a breakfast chimichanga since I didn't have park admission. And unfortunately, they were out of the meat version, so he had to pick me up the vegetarian one, which I didn't know existed but I'm happy to try it because now I get to see which one of the two is actually better. And I did bring it all the way back to our hotel room at Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa just because I have a beautiful view of Disney California Adventure. Uh, but Rhino did open it up immediately when he bought it and found out that it was already soggy as well from even sitting in their little facility that houses all the chimichangas. So. I guess that's just most likely what you're going to get, a soggy chimichanga. But if it's still delicious and flavorful, then it's worth the sogginess. Here goes nothing. The good news is vegetarians who want to try the breakfast chimichanga have an option. The bad news is it is not very good compared to the original one. You know, the eggs in there, nice and all. There are so many peppers and onions in this that it is just like, it, you are just crunching through this thing and not in the good way of like a crispy tortilla crunch, like literally chewing through root vegetables and peppers and yeah, it's um, it's weird texture wise. And like there's, I'm getting a lot of flavor because of the vegetables, but I don't know, this needs something to like spice it up a little bit. Maybe the hot sauce would They're work. They're out of hot sauce, so. Oh man, oh man, hold on. I'll, I'll let you know how I feel in a couple seconds. Turns out the main crunch that I was getting in a lot of this was cauliflower, which, hey, now I got my vegetables in for the day, I guess in a massively unhealthy way, but yeah, this is, uh, it's good, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I wouldn't get this again, I would, I would opt for the regular breakfast chimichanga, or I would wait for a lunch chimichanga, if that. Or there's other breakfasts in the park that I would go to first, whether Jelly Holiday, or like the the plant-based bowl from, in uh, whatever it's called. I can't even, I can never remember the name. Red Rose Tavern. I just call it Beauty and the Beast restaurant. But hey, I'm still glad I tried it once. One in Rome, or one in Disneyland. And if not. Then that was just a long that was a pause. Pregnant pause. That but was. Yeah, I, I, you know, just like with the, um, the, the normal chimichanga that's served um, throughout the day, I think this is actually like a really good value compared yep. to like other things that you can get in the park. And what, and it's nice, it's nice. It's a good, great like grab and go thing. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yep. I very much appreciate it. Absolutely recommend it. Get here early and get over to ship and shore. Ship to shore in. Frontierland and get yourself a breakfast chimichanga. You will not regret it. But that's going to do it for this Disney dining review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, questions, and video suggestions in the comments section. And if you want to support us more, you can always book a trip through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get a free no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. That's it for Rhino and I here at Disneyland Park. We'll see you again real soon with another Disney dining review. Take care. Bye bye. Yeehaw.